That's what they just say. Riding down 17, how about say my ride there? What's happening? What's happening? This is Angel Danielle, aka Angel D, and I'm representing the Heavenly Society. Where I'm from here, Columbia, South Carolina. My family's from New York. Um, I was born in Fayetteville, North Carolina, because you know my father was in the military. It was awesome. It was awesome. We had the best of both worlds, you know, free health care. <laughs> <laughs> now it was great because I saw my dad. I watched him grow through the military, and it helped me learn, you know, how to be strong, how to be a leader through his his leadership in the military. Well, it started when I saw a Michael Jackson thriller. I was about four years old, and we were living on post on Fort Jackson. But ever since I saw that, I'm like, that's what I want to do. And then I ended up watching a movie, The Jacksons and the American Dream. That's my favorite movie. But when I watched that movie, and I learned it line by line, I knew every dance move, everything. And I'm like, man, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. If I can make people feel how Michael made people feel, then that's it. That's all I need. I'm really studying, studying, you know, how to be successful with not just being in the music business, but with being an inspiration to people. Because if I can make somebody else feel how, how music makes me feel, then that's what I really want to do for like the rest of my life. But as far as um, when I'm studying, I'm learning you know, how to be an artist, how to um, grow as an artist, how to study myself, because I really, really feel like I'm my biggest competition. You know what I mean? Yes, I was 17. I recorded in somebody's closet. <laughs> I looked at the pads on, on the side, but um, my first time hearing myself, I'm like, dang, that's me. Like, that's really me. It's not me in my room just hearing myself um, through the walls. Um, it really made me want to keep going. Like, it really made me want to keep going. It was an experience, though. It was an experience my first time doing it. Yeah, my homeboys from high school, we had a little click back then. <laughs> um, Michael, like I said, Michael Jackson, that's number one. Beyonce, I love me some Bee Quincy. Congratulations to Bee, by the way. Um, <laughs> Anita Baker, Tupac, Nas, Wale, he really inspires me. Um, Whitney Houston, definitely. I opened up for Dougie Fresh, for Chubb Rock, and I opened up for Young M.A. It was dope. It was dope. When Dougie Fresh first came out before he went on stage, I met him and I was like, man, I just opened for you. And he was like, how was it? Did you have fun? And I was like, yeah, I had fun. Like, this Dougie Fresh, you know what I mean? So when he got off stage, he dapped me up and he was like, so did you learn something? And I was like, I definitely learned something, man. You legendary. I just, hands up. Life. Life. Everything was life, whether it be um, love, happiness, whether it be work, going to work. Um, heartbreak, anything, anything with life because um, music is the way of life. I just love, I love the vibes of it. Like you can vibe to house music, I feel like is like anywhere type music. You can be in the house, you can be at the cookout, um, you can be in the club, you can be in the car. Like house music, it just gives you that feeling of I don't care what I'm doing, where I'm at, that's the vibe right now. My genre is hip hop and R&B and my sound is real lyrical, it's storytelling. Um, it can be about any subject, but it has meaning to it, it has substance. And I plan on putting out a joint called Mother of Nature before I put out the EP. It's like an old to 90 by nature that I did. Um, DJ Princess, that's my music manager, shout out to DJ Princess. Um, we've been working together since 2012, and he's really been mentoring me, not just on the music side, but um, as a person. And so we've really been working on this project hard and heavy. Um, that's basically it's me and him. To be honest, it's me and him, and that's all I need right now. I don't have a date yet, but it will be dropping in the fall, this fall. The way that I write and the way I do my work is it's all based off of vibes. Like, I'm a real vibe feel type of person. And so I don't want to name the EP until I know it's right. Like, even if we're in the studio and we're listening to it, or even if I'm putting some fancy touches on a song, and I'm like, oh, dang, that's the name right there. Like, I want it to happen like that. I don't want to sit down and think, what am I going to next? Setting the date, I don't want to say on this day. And then I hear a song, this one of the songs, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to fix that on the song. I want to know, okay, it's ready. This is the date. Let's go this one. Because, I mean, when I, when you say that you want to be legendary, then you have to make legendary moves, and you have to make smart moves, and not just throw something out there and then somebody say, what's next, and then you don't have what's next. So I'm all about what's next. Facebook, Angel Danielle, on all social media, um, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, 
anything else with. Shout out to my baby Zion. I'm a mother. Shout out to my baby Zion. Um, my family, my whole family, my mom, my dad. Thank y'all for inspiring me. My sister.